Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at uh, functions and different types of questions you might get about them and different things about notation and so on. Okay, so what I've done is I've listed uh, two different ways a function can be uh, written. So the first one is f of x, so that's f bracket x close brackets equals x squared plus 1. Okay, so we're saying the function is x squared plus 1. This is another way of writing exactly the same thing. So it's f of x, so it's f dot dot x goes to x squared plus 1. Okay, and these functions are exactly the same. And it's just saying you're going to square the values and add 1. Okay, uh, and the domain for these is x it belongs to a set of real numbers. So we're going to put in every single value of x. Uh, now, you should have watched the video already on uh, functions and looking at the different types of functions. Uh, this one is going to be a one to, uh, many to one function, okay, because uh, the different values you put in will give you the same answer, okay. So if you, for instance, think of the graph, because it sort of comes down, it's quadratic, it's going to come down and back up again. It will have uh, different heights, or sorry, the same heights, obviously, with different input numbers or different values in the domain. Give this, uh, so it's going to be uh, many to one, okay, because many elements of the domain will go to the same value of the um, same element of the range. So, first question find uh, f of three, okay, so that means you're going to put three into the function, okay, so the function is x squared plus 1. So what you're going to do is you're going to do 3 squared plus 1. So 3 squared is 9 plus 1 equals 10. So f of 3 equals 10. Okay. Next, find a if f of a equals 50. In other words, the uh, value in the um, the value in the range is 50, and you've got to find out what the element of the domain would map onto that, okay? So what value you've put in to get that. So, f of a equals 50, therefore, um, x squared plus 1 equals 50. So take 1 away, so x squared equals 49, so x equals plus or minus 7. So a equals plus or minus 7. So a is obviously got two different values here. Okay, next one, find the range. So for this, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly sketch the graph. It's a quadratic graph, and it goes through 1. Okay, there. So the range is obviously the outputs, okay? So if you think about all the different outputs, um, they're going to be 1 and above, okay? All the heights are 1 or above. So the range is f of x is bigger than or equal to 1. Okay, and that's that question done. Okay, so here's another type of functions question. Uh, it says, if h of x equals 1 over x, where the domain is x belongs to a set of real numbers, but x is going to be bigger than 0 or less than or equal to 2, state the type of function and state the range. So I'm going to first of all start off by just sketching a graph of this. So it's 1 over x, so it's going to look like that. However, obviously it's bigger than 0, so it's going to be coming down like this. But it's less than or equal to 2, okay? So it's going to stop here. Whenever this is 2, it's going to stop here, okay? So it's going to come down and then stop there. Obviously, it's going to be 1 over x, so 1 over 2 is going to be a half. So the head of that graph there will be a half, okay? First of all, it says state the function. So for this particular domain, it belongs to a set of real numbers. So it's taken every single value of bigger than zero. Remember, that's going to be whenever you go 0 0.0000001 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 across and do 1 divided by that, you're going to get a massive number. So this is going to be coming down from infinity all the way down to a half. And every single time you put in a different value into the into the function, so every time you put in a different element of the domain, you're going to get a different answer uh, so a different height or a different value in the range. So the type of function here is going to be a 1, 2, 1 function. Next question says state the range. Remember the range is the heights of the graph, okay? So, or the, the outputs. So it's going to be going from infinity all the way down to a half, okay? So in terms of the uh, range here, what it's going to be is it's going to be uh, h of x is going to be bigger than or equal to a half. Okay, and that's the range. Okay, so here's another type of functions, que uh, functions question. The function f of x is defined by f of x is either 5 minus 2x if x is less than 1 or 
x squared plus 3 whenever x is bigger than or equal to 1. So you've been asked to sketch the graph, you've been asked to state the range, you've been find, asked f of 4, you've been asked to find f of 0, and finally find a if f of a equals 19. Okay, so first of all I'm just going to sketch this graph. Okay, when sketching this graph, the first thing I've done is I've drawn the x squared plus 3 part, first of all, for whenever x is bigger than or equal to 1. So what I've done was I've put 1 in to x squared plus 3. So 1 squared is 1, plus 3 is 4. So I went 1 across and 4 up. And then, obviously, this is just a quadratic graph that crosses at 3. So it would cross at 3, go all the way up. So I've just started at 1 across 4 up, and then went all the way up like a quadratic. Okay? Now... The other, other part of the graph, and I've done that one in purple, the other part of the graph is 5 minus 2x. So to do that one, and it's going to be whenever it's less than 1, so this half is the purple bit, and then this one here, okay, I'm just going to do this one in blue, uh, it's going to be 5 minus uh, 2x. So let's first of all find what it is whenever it's equal to 1. So put 1 in. Obviously it never actually equals 1 here, so it's going to be less than 1, but we'll find what it approaches. So 1 going in here, 2 times 1 is... 2, 5 take away 2 is 3. So it's going to go 1 across 3 up, which is going to approach that value there. Okay, that's 3. And it's 5 minus 2x, so negative gradient, crossing at 5 up here. So it's going to come down, straight line graph like this. Okay, so it's going to come down, crosses at 5, and comes down through 5, and a straight line graph all the way down to there. Okay, so first thing is sketch f of x, so I've sketched that graph, okay, I've drawn um, the bigger than 1 part, x squared plus 3, and I've drawn the bit less than 1, so the straight line graph that comes down all the way and approaches 1, 3. Next bit then says state the range, so remember the range is the height of the graphs, or height of the graph, so this graph, or these graphs, are always going to be above 3, okay, uh, now remember this graph is approaching 3, this blue one, remember it doesn't actually equal 1, so it's approaching 3, so for the range it's going to be f of x is going to be bigger than 3. Okay, next one says find f of 4. So we're going to put 4 into these. Now here, this the top bit is for whenever x is smaller than 1, and the bottom bit is whenever x is bigger than or equal to 1. So obviously I'm putting 4 in, I'm going to be putting it into x squared plus 3. So I'm going to do 4 squared plus 3, so 4 squared is 16 plus 3 is 19. So f of 4 equals 19. Uh, next part is going to be then uh, working out what um, f of 0 is. So I'm going to be putting 0 into the top bit whenever it's less than 1. So I'm going to be doing uh, 5 take away 2 times 0. So it's going to be 5 take away nothing, which is 5. So f of 0 equals 5. So the most important bit for these two is just knowing which one you're putting it into. The next one says, find a if f of a equals 19. So f of a is going to be, uh, whenever you put a in, you're finding at 19. 19 is the value on your range. So it's going to be the height. Now as you look at these two graphs, okay, obviously the right hand side is going to have a height of 19. But also the left hand side is going to have a height of 19 as well. Now we've already worked out that f of 4 equals uh, 19. Okay, So what you're going to do is you're going to put this equal to 19 and this equal to 19. So first thing is you're going to write 5 minus 2x equals 19. So in other words, for the light blue uh, the light blue line, in other words, whenever it's less than 1, we're trying to find out when this is equal to 19. So you're going to write 5 minus 2x equals 19. Take the 5 away, so you're going to get um, um, minus 2x equals 14. And then that means then that 2x equals minus 14. So then x equals minus 7. So one value of a could be minus 7. Now the other height is going to be whenever this one here equals, we know it's going to be 4 anyway, but let me show you how to do it. So you're going to write x squared plus 3 equals 19. Take the 3 away, so you're going to get x squared equals 16. So x equals plus or minus 4. Now obviously this graph here is only whenever it's bigger than or equal to 1, so there can't be the minus 4, so therefore x must equal or can't, x, sorry, x can't equal minus 4, so then x must equal 4. So the two solutions is a equals minus 7 or a equals 4.